Next year's race for the redesigned 6th District Congressional District is, at the moment, missing one thing, a Democrat. Ten years ago, Democrats would have likely been falling over each other for the nomination. Now, only one candidate has even expressed any interest. For the Democrats, Capri Cafaro says she's not running. It's not the right district or the right time. Sean O'Brien says he's out, and John Bacheri is out, too. That leaves Mahoney County Commissioner Anthony Traficanti. Anthony Traficanti declined to be interviewed on camera, but did talk with me by phone and said that he is considering running for the 6th District Congressional seat. He described his politics as conservative Democrat. For example, he supports the rights of gun owners. The reasons for hesitating, he says, are personal, but he does plan to make a final decision by year's end. I have uh, tremendous respect for the work that, uh, that Anthony has done there. Should Traficani run and win the Democratic primary, he'll likely face Republican incumbent Bill Johnson, who's also the early favorite. Absolutely, I'm running again. When Johnson was first elected in 2010, he lived in Poland and worked in Trumbull County. The new 6th District will have all of Mahoning, Trumbull, and Columbiana counties, and many more Democrats. But, but I've worked hard for the people of the Mahoning Valley. Uh, along with Tim Ryan uh, on issues that are a, of a concern to them, things like bringing manufacturing and energy development to our region. It's hard to run in districts that favor another political party. But Cherry decided not to run when he saw the map of Ohio's congressional districts, calling it very gerrymandered. But the Republicans have drawn congressional maps that will give them an 86% majority uh, of the congressional delegation, despite them only getting about 52 percent of the votes statewide. John Bacheri also said he's concerned that more Democrats are not interested in running for either national or statewide office. No Democrats have yet announced that they are running for Ohio Attorney General, Treasurer, or Auditor. Now, a second lawsuit has also been filed over the new congressional map in Ohio, the League of Women Voters. The Ohio chapter of the A. Philip Randolph Institute and several individuals filed that suit today. They're accusing Republican lawmakers of manipulating lines to favor their party. The lawsuit was filed with the Ohio Supreme Court.